Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lillian coming with another video. Today we're going to be doing a demo, try on, first impressions on the uh, Fashion Fair Foundation. I have the Compact which is going to be FF Cream to Powder Skin um, in the color Caramel Fresh. And then I also have the FF Skin Flex Foundation Stick in the same color, Calmo Fresh. And so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into the makeup application because I know that's why you're here. All right, y'all. So I am wiping my face. Okay, I am wiping my face. <coughs> Ooh, I use alcohol wipes to wipe my face. I know, I know, I know, I know. My boyfriend and my best friend are always like, oh my God. Why do you, but it works. Look, my skin, it works for my skin. My skin is actually dry. So I do like for it to be clean, but because it's dry and because I'm at home, I'm not gonna like, we're not going for a matte vibe. So I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Extra Boost to just, give it a little something you know because it's a little dry and i've been in the house all day and i don't have any intentions on going anywhere today today is youtube day saturdays i'm getting in my routine like i'm back from atlanta you know visiting my boyfriend lives in atlanta so um i visit you know, I don't want to show too much. I don't want to do too much. Let's go ahead and get into the packaging. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have been using my stick foundation. I have been using the stick foundation, so it might have some signs of use. And I've been using this as my work foundation, just the natural. But today, we're going to try to go for my neutral glam beat. That's what I'm going for today. Um, but I do use this. And then I have the cream to powder foundation. I just wanted to see if it was different, if it, you know... My face should be ready. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'm going to start with the stick foundation. Okay. I have the color Caramel Fresh. And I also got the same color in the powder. I'm going to do one side just so you can see like the finish. Okay. Yeah, girl. I know. I know you're going to be like, girl, that's not your shade. But it is. It matches my neck. It matches my neck. And a lot of times I go darker. I like to use a brush and like I said we're gonna do half half and half I know you like girl uh, not your color but it is see look it goes in my neck it is my color I'm gonna blend it in I'm not gonna lie the stick foundation you gotta blend it you know cuz some people like they they be trying to be mean to the foundation i am not being mean i'm telling you you gotta brush it in real good because if you don't it's just not you gotta brush it in you know but this is the finish this is the finish okay on that side um this is medium coverage i would say medium full but i can still see my under eye circles we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it but I just want you to know we are giving the foundation a full chance. Now, this is the compact, okay? And it's in the same color, Caramel Fresh, okay? I'm gonna see if we can get some more coverage, like right here. I'm gonna get some coverage. Now, I feel like I look a little orange on the camera. Y'all can let me know if I'm seeing the right thing. I don't know, I got my contacts in, maybe I'm wrong. But this is just the foundation. We are gonna do some concealer, okay. I'm gonna use Warm Sand Too Faced. They did not have any concealers, otherwise I would have bought them. We're going to see how this foundation goes with my normal routine. For eye 
eyebrows i like to either use this 24 hour brow setter or a really good um, alternative and i actually think i'm gonna go with the alternative is the nyx um brow glue i think i prefer this a little bit more and so what i do for my brows is i just kind of brush them up because i really don't have like a lot of brows girl we gonna brush that up real good right and then we just go in with the um pencil and it's like very simple So we're gonna blend in our under eye concealer and I'm just holding this up so I can see. I'm just gonna blend it in. And this is a moist sponge. Um, and I did check to see what I look like in the bathroom to see what I was giving and I think I'm doing a good job. I think it's, it's doing a really good job. I think the problem is maybe it's the lighting. Maybe I need to go get that ring light so we can get into some real lighting. That's what I might do. Um, but this is what it's looking like. This is natural. I have a big sun, a big, not a big sun, but a big window like right here. So I figure it would be fine and it's like noon. We're gonna do a little something on our eye area. I don't really do too much. I usually take my bronzer. I usually take my bronzer. Um, and just put it on the top some regular regular honey like a neutral like a just a neutral vibe we're gonna let that concealer sit a little bit more and then we're gonna um, set that we have some Laura Mercier <laughs> I'm just playing and Mercier um, I feel like we can do a little bit more on this other eyebrow this other brow need some support because I like the natural brow but I still like to like help it out you know I still like to help it out a little bit but anyway so we did a little something on our top of the eye you know something to just warm it up and this is like really a everyday makeup with you know a new foundation this is what we would normally do so yeah let's go ahead and set under our eye i have the laurier uh marcier this is in the translucent honey i like the it's like a banana color like you know so we're just gonna set it up there um I just like to see how different products interact with because all things don't get along like some products do not get along with other products so like for me I like if it doesn't get along then I can't have it in my collection because I'm not gonna change my concealer I'm not changing everything in my collection first I'm gonna use what works okay so I have the light on and I really want y'all to see the texture of my skin. So we're gonna go in bronze touring so i usually use the juvia's place bronze and i have it in tan and i use this top color okay and then i also have the sephora micro smooth in the color 40 tan and we're just gonna put that right there not too much because like i said we ain't going nowhere we are just 
at the house. And I got a piece of hair. Hold on. Okay. All right. What y'all think? I think it just adds something extra to it. Just something extra. So we got that together. We're going to go in with our lashes. I really like the Russian volumes and that those are the lashes that I that I use. Whatever. I do like to do a little contour on my nose just to do a little something. Now that the lashes are done, we're gonna go in with some mascara. I have the Big Shot, and then I also have another one in here that I like to use. This is the Tarte Man Eater. I like to use two different kinds. So we're gonna start with the, the smaller one, the Tarte, cause I like the application. And I usually use this for my bottom lashes. Okay. And I like to use a I like to use two mascaras. It just gives it something extra, you know. You see? Alright, so we're all done with the face. Um Let's do some setting. Do we need to set this with powder? Let's set this with powder. Fashion Fair does have a powder that you can set the foundation with. But I, and I recommend that you get a powder, not necessarily theirs, you know? But you do want to set it. And then I'm going to use the Morphe. All right. To set the pole face. Okay. Now here's the thing. Why do I say you need to set this foundation? I have oily skin. And I don't even feel like my skin is like that oily. It's like combination oily. If you go watch the video that I did. A day in the life of a school librarian. You'll see how the foundation wears on a day to day. The stick foundation. It is not mass proof. Okay. I can tell you that right now. It is not mass proof. But it's also easy to touch up. You know if you need to touch it up. And you don't have to use a lot of product to get a full face uh, together. So we're going to do just a real quick. And just so you can see the packaging, I love the packaging. The packaging is bomb. So this, I like this already, okay? And it's it it reminds me of L'Oreal, but L'Oreal is like plastic. This is like a good like metal and it's magnetic. So you can see. And I like that. I like that touch. I like this. Like it just... The packaging, I love it. So we're going to go ahead and just do a swatch. I'm going to show you what Olay Orange looks like. Yeah, to me, it's full coverage. And this is more of a spring, spring, summer. It's how old people do that. Old people be like that. Yeah, so I like it. Um, it's a little loud for me. It's a little loud. It's a little loud, but I like it. I like it. I'm going to keep it in my collection. But that's not the one we're going to wear. We're going to wear Koi. Well, we're going to try and see what Koi looks like. So 
So give me one moment. This is Koi. What y'all think? I like it as a nude color. This color has pink undertones. It's like a mauve nude. What you think? I like it. I like it. I really like this color. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I got it. I'm gonna add this to my work bag. So what you think? What we think? I like the face. I'm going to be honest with you. I like the face. I like the way it looks. I like the way it wears. It's really up to you and what you prefer. I really like the way the foundation looks on my skin. It looks natural. It's matte, but it's not drying. It's not super dry. Um, coverage. It's medium buildable coverage. Okay? It's medium. You saw how I was looking, then I had to keep adding stuff on there because, you know, for work, I don't really put that much on because I'm going to work and I'm going to have a mask on my face all day. So I'm not really concerned with beep, 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 beep. I want you to see the texture, skin texture. I know this camera has a um, smooth effect. I do not use the smooth effect on here. And I do have my iPhone, but I feel like the iPhone try to smooth stuff out too. And I really just want you to see, it, does, it doesn't, do you any good to see smooth skin all the time you need to really get into the texture of the skin I'm trying to let it like focus to me it looks flawless I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be honest to me it looks flawless and I really really like it this the way it's wearing on my skin reminds me of my Bobbi Brown foundation it does and it's giving me I feel like it's giving me better coverage than the Bobbi Brown foundation. And I really, really like my Bobbi Brown. So this might be like a permanent stay in my makeup collection. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way back here, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be the first one to know when I upload another video. Bye.